Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Well, now that you've joined us, why don't we talk about account-based marketing? Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Uh, all jokes aside, welcome back to another edition of Just Ask Jack. This week we are talking account-based marketing. What is it and how do you integrate influencers into, into your account-based marketing approach? So I'm going to do the usual thing, uh, five questions, 10 seconds each. I'm going to sort of try and myth bust, try and cover off um, you know, some, of, some of the kind of tips to make sure that the integration is really smooth um, and that it goes well. Obviously book check first reading Adults by Emma Jane Unsworth. Uh, it's a very witty and wry tale of social media addiction and mental health in, in modern London. I would highly recommend to anyone. But uh, on with the show, Alicia, question master. Let's get going. Question number one. What is ABM? Ready, set, go. So account-based marketing is a, it's a discipline of marketing using very targeted, specific campaigns to influence a, a particular, usually high-value uh, set of named accounts, or sometimes it will be sort of broken down by key sector as well. Yeah, just smashing through them, getting better with every week. This is week 10, can you believe it? <laughs> 10 of these. Where's the time gone? So long since we began. When was it? January? Who even remembers January? Not me. No one here. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody knows. We were filming last year. Sure. Question number two. How can I integrate influencers into my ABM strategy? Ready, set, go. So I think regardless of who your audience is, you should always be trying to integrate expert opinions into your campaigns to make them more credible. And influencers are just a kind of nimble and uh, low effort way of doing that. Question number three, what kind of influencers should I work with? Ready, set, go. Right, so you've got to find influencers, I think, with direct industry experience. So to be credible, they've got to have direct experience of solving the similar sorts of problems to the ones that your product solves. And that's what's going to make them credible to your target audience. Question number four, is there a particular type of content I should create? Ready, set, go. Uh, yes, the film Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Just make Avatar. Question number four. Is there a particular type of content I should create? Ready, set, go. Yeah, you, I think you really want to look to create like industry-based thought leadership content on how you go about solving those challenges. So you found influencers who are credible on that topic. Make sure that you're, you're kind of talking through how to solve the challenges that your buyer has. Question number five. How do I get my content in front of the right people? Ready, set, go. So I'd expect that your target audience probably already listened to the influencers you, that you should be picking. You can really seal the deal by kind of pushing that high value thought leadership content through your social selling channels, direct sales and targeted advertising. Some people are really, really woke. No, they're not. <laughs> So thanks for watching another episode of Just Ask Jack. This week we have been talking about account-based marketing. So as per usual, I'm keen to hear from people like what they found has worked, uh, integrating integrating the two together, success stories, things that they found really haven't worked. I think you know that's always valuable for people to, to hear as well. Next time I'm going to be talking about measuring the ROI of your of your influencer program. So like how you actually go about sort of creating like a, a good measurement framework and make sure that you're you're kind of capturing the the outcomes that the business cares about um because obviously there's a there's a struggle there and there's a there's a tension i think often with influencer programs of of feeling like there's um we're measuring the wrong things or we're, we're possibly uh venturing into sort of vanity metrics so i want to kind of get into that address that head on and talk about how you i can really sort that out but uh thanks for watching um as, as per usual, give it a like, give it a share if you if you found it useful. Otherwise, I will see you out there. See you on uh, see you online. Good. Mm, bang. Finish strong. Snapback. Staring straight into Clelia's iPhone. We've got much better equipment than that. Yeah, gosh, yeah, go show us that. <laughs> I mean, the very yeah, the very good cameras and lighting rig. With huge lenses. Yeah, there's yeah. there's literally so there's lenses. yeah there's there's 150 people on set right now. <laughs>
the company the company's going bankrupt <laughs> someone someone who is good at the economy please help me budget 